Speed is on from the 1,000 meter mark and Stratkent a little bit slow to go. Miss Valicious on the left is quick to go. Vision to kill is right there. Elusive Enchantments pacing it with them. Our Destiny makes it almost a line of four. And Call Me Winter very quick also on the right hand side. Black Blinkers. Joe's Bond is just off them, then She's a Fortress, Stratkin's about three lengths off the leader, then Cosmic Burst, they're scrimmaging towards the inside, as they come down with about 300 metres to go, and the leader, Call Me Winter, Elusive Enchantment, Joe's Bond is running on, Vision to Kill between the two of them, She's a Fortress, Stratkin's in trouble, coming to the last 100 metres now, and it's Joe's Bond there, he takes it up and on the inside, Elusive Enchantment, Elusive Enchantment and Joe's Bond on the outside, Cosmic Burst, but Joe's Bond's going on, and Joe's Bond has won it. Second, Elusive Enchantment, maybe our destiny. Third, Cosmic Burst, fourth. Victory for Joe's Bond, the Captain L, Justin Snaith, win number eight from 18. Richard Foree, and they win the Quasi Lunatel Stakes listed. And Joe's Bond, bred by Clava Flay Stud, wins it by a length and a quarter. Second goes to Elusive Enchantment. Third to Our Destiny. Cosmic Burst ran on for fourth. Then came behind that one was Vision to Kill, Respect at Bay. Followed by Call Me Winter, who showed pace right to the 200 meter marker. And further back, she's a fortress. Stratkunt was a little bit slow, never got into the race, didn't get the clearest of passage um, as they all uh, packed up towards the middle inside. And uh, yes, Joe's Bond coming on well. It pays up at a good five rand and 2.20 a place. Number two ended up the toad favorite. Until the running of race seven, back to the studio. Ozul Natal stakes a listed race for 150,000 Rand. We got a presentation and director of Gold Circle, Mr. Kurs de Klack. Thank you, sir, for coming down and assisting us with this presentation. And uh, a fine performance from number one, Joe's Bond. Uh, trainer Justin Snape teaming up with Richard Faree. And nice to have Graham on course. He's going to represent a whole host of owners here. But first up, let's have the winning trainer, Justin Snape. Justin, uh, we did uh, do an interview for this race, and uh, you mentioned that, that a yardstick could be Friday night where things didn't go according to plan, but this filly, she certainly brought her A game uh, this afternoon. Look, she came with very good form. Uh, I mean, she ran fourth in the Cape Flying against uh, what would be some of the best sprinters in the country. She's managed to beat Carry On Alice. Um, so she, 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 on a day she can run. She's a... Just a, she's not even a big filly, she's just amazing, amazing, typical Captain L, you know, well done, Clava Flay. Uh, just a pleasure. I love the, uh, the, the I just hope that uh, uh, Captain L's getting lots of Viagra and stuff, and he lasts a long time because, <laughs> because I've relied the last few years on him. He's been an absolute uh, uh, fantastic for my training. And to, to John Freeman, who put all these guys together, uh, every sale we go to, and sometimes we can't afford a horse, so we, we get together like a lot of the trainers, put syndicates and groups of guys together, and she was one of those fillies. So they've had a, a, a good time with her, and, and we're really well done to all the connections that Graham, who made that. To Richard, who knows her fully well, I knew he had to be on her because he does know. She's a little bit quirky, mm. so well done from him on making the effort to come here. There were a few concerns for you, the course and the draw, but uh, she handled it well? Yes. Uh, look, after Friday night uh, on the poly, I, I was... I thought, oh my goodness, this is going to be a long weekend. So I was very concerned, uh, but... Uh, you know, she's so fast, it, it, it all helps, you know, with when you've got a bit of quality in a filly. So just happy to get the first winner, first feature out the way here in Durban. Well, may it be the first of many, many more over the next few months, Justin. We love having you in town and all the best to yourself and your team. Great, thank you very much. Well done to the winning trainer, Justin Snate, uh, receiving his memento from director of Gold Circle, Mr. Kurster Clack. And then the gentleman that's made his way down is Richard Foree, no stranger to our shores here in KZN. He's had a lot of success in this province, now based in Cape Town. But Richard, uh, you've made the way down, and uh, this is uh, a fully that you get on exceptionally well with. Yes, uh, you know, it's just fortunate. And uh, also, just want to say well to Justin. Um, you know, things haven't been uh, shaping up in his whole yard. And, uh, 
you know, this could be the turning point for him and his, his whole team. So uh, yeah, there was a bit of pressure coming here. Um, you know, coming to from the airport this morning, my luggage never arrived in 20 minutes before the race. So, uh, you know, it's, it was just a, a grinding day already uh, as, as the day started. So um, back to the filly. She's not an easy filly. She does have a little quirks. Um, but yeah, when I came out the gates, my saddle slipped back a good five, five inches. So um, I was very uncomfortable the whole way through the race and uh, I had to ride her with my legs open. <laughs> and it wasn't easy. I just had to try and keep the saddle on as long as I could. And, um, you know, she ran a bit green. She saw the grandstand and uh, looked to hang in a bit. And um, I could only do as much as I could um, to, to try and keep her on a straight line and uh, sort of try and win the race. But uh, Philly's a nice Philly. She's got a form. It's there. Just want to say again. The Olsen team, great stuff. And then also to my sponsors at Rockenstein, thank you for their support. Well, you've really mentioned a lot because uh, you know, things going so wrong for you in the race. So a win full of merit and a big win for her. Yes, uh, and also for the owners, um, you know, uh, she's uh, she's a good good patron this filly, and uh, she she gives her best foot every time she runs. And um, I'm sure this this is not the last last of her. Um, there's more to come. Well, you've been rewarded making the trip down. Well done, yeah, Richard. Thank you very much. Well done to the winning jockey, Richard Foree. And then Graham is the gentleman that's made his way down. We actually briefly met each other on Friday night, but Graham, you're going to represent all the guys here, a whole host of you guys, and yeah. she's done you guys proud again. She doesn't stop, does she? She's a fantastic. We only know she does a 1,000, um, but she does it fantastically well. Richard Foree won that race again today. There's no doubt about it. The horse is one of the fastest in the country. But Richard won that race. So you could see Travels all the way down the line. Um, it was a crazy race, uh, all things considered. But the end result was the, the quality showed through against good quality horses. And, and you just mentioned his saddle slipping back, you know, an uncomfortable I, ride. I, I didn't see that. But straight after the fact, it sort of answered questions halfway down the track what was going on because he seemed very uncomfortable and it didn't seem right. I thought the horse wasn't enjoying the track, but eventually she got her feet together and off they went. So. With this win, you are going to certainly be making a few more trips to uh, KZN. Oh, my dad lives up here. Hello, dad. Hello. Hello, the Spears. Hello, everyone. Thank you, everyone upstairs for your help. Wonderful. You've been great. It's been lovely coming here. I stayed here 29 years ago. My first race was here but as, a, as a punter. Yes. I watched a horse called Bond win in September 88 yeah. on this track. So we've gone full circle for me in this country. What a pleasure. And I, and I just want to say thank you to the Snaiths. They're just incredible how they keep this horse on the on the boil continuously considering the the the, the fact that it only does a thousand my owners friends who are not here we'll see you in cape town i might see you in joburg hopefully in four weeks time let's see well give our best to all the guys there's too many of them to mention but uh, she's certainly done you proud as i mentioned and hopefully you know she, she goes on to begin better things as well and my buddies in seapoint thank you you're the best well done to Graham and excited, ecstatic, and why not? He's one of the owners of a filly that's certainly done them proud. She now notches up an eighth career win, uh, the daughter of Captain L, and that is number one, Joe's Bond. And then the winning groom, the gentleman that takes care of her, uh, his name is uh, Mlukiki uh, Mzweli. Mzweli, well done to you, my man. You've done an outstanding job uh, for snake racing. This is your filly. Well done. Uh, Mzweli. A big thank you to Director of Gold Circle, Mr. Kwista Clack, coming down and assisting us with the winning presentation. The 2017 running of the Quasul Natal Stakes belongs to number one, Joe's Bond.